Well, this is Father Adam, and I'm overjoyed to be able to have this opportunity to share with you a little bit of my reflection on the celebration of the Holy Mass, which I have been celebrating by myself during these days. And as I take the bread into my hands, I realize that the bread becomes the body of Christ. But the body of Christ, the Bible teaches us, is all of us. We are the body of Christ. And I, as a priest, have the immense privilege to be a bridge between God and all of you. That's what a priest is from the Latin pontifex, a bridge builder. So I always try to build a bridge between God and people and how I miss all of you during the celebration of the Mass. How I've realized how much I love each and every one of you. And as a priest during Mass, we believe in our Catholic theology that I and every other priest becomes Jesus. We call it in Latin, the Altur Christus that I become Jesus during Mass. And as I looked at Jesus in my hands, coming into the bread, as I consecrated it, and I repeated those words that Jesus said at the Last Supper, and as I say those words, Jesus took the bread into his hands, blessed the bread, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you. This is my body, broken for you. I realize that we as the body of Christ, we are Jesus, his body. He's got no other body but ours. And we are the broken body. You see, before he turned us into his body, he broke the body. That's why we are such broken people. And in a big way, in an enormous way, we are experiencing this brokenness of us as human beings right now through this coronavirus pandemic, how broken we are how bruised we are, that even though we are the body of Christ, he broke us. That we are broken people, broken through our depression, anxiety, our fears, our sinfulness, our past, our issues, we are broken people, but we are still his body. No matter how broken we are, we are still his body. And, you know, I often think that bread broken and shared is what we celebrate at Holy Mass. And I remember when my grandmother used to bake bread at home in Poland, you could smell the bread in the house baking, but it wasn't until that bread was broken that you could truly taste it, that the flavor of the bread didn't shine through, didn't come through until it was broken. Isn't it when we are broken that we are able to show our flavor? 
right now through this brokenness that we are experiencing, we are able to shine through as people, as Jesus' body, through the love that we share, through the concern that we share, through our generosity, through all that we are doing for each other, through our brokenness, we allow the flavor of the body of Christ to penetrate the world through our hope, through our positivity. But you know, Jesus breaks the bread before he says, this is my body. Before turning us into his body, he breaks us. But before he breaks the bread, he blesses the bread. So we, even though we may be broken, we are still blessed. That's what we are called to celebrate, that even though we may be broken people through the coronavirus, through our fears, through our, through our trials, through our problems, through our sufferings, we are still blessed. And being blessed means we are joy-filled. He filled us with His joy. He filled us with His presence. He fills us with happiness. We may be broken, but we are still happy people because we are His people. We are blessed people. So how are you? Yeah, I'm broken. You know, right now, I, 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 I don't like this celebrating Mass by myself. And I, I've realized how much I miss you and how much I love you. And that makes me very broken during this time. Being inside of the house is a broken experience, not being able to go out with a lot of anxiety, not just for myself, but for my family. My mother, who is a cleaning lady in Chicago, is not able to work right now. That, that's a lot of anxiety for her and, of course, for me because, you know, she works uh, for cash only. And like so many of you that may be waitresses or you work at, at, at jobs where you depend on the generosity of others, you know, uh, you may not be able to apply for unemployment or get as much money as you, as you need to make ends meet. And so that anxiety of my mom, who of course is the most special person for me because she is my mother, I feel that anxiety in my heart. It, it, it bruises my heart. Her pain, I feel. And in like manner, I feel your pain as well. And so I am broken. But at the same time, I know that I am blessed. And where does my blessing come from during this time? The same place that I want to let each and every one of you know. That your blessing comes from as well. And that is that even though he broke us, he broke the bread, At the same time, before he broke us, he blessed us. But the Bible says he took the bread into his hands and he turned it into his body, in his hands. We may be broken. But we are blessed. We are blessed. Thank you, Lord, for this word right now. We are blessed because we are in his hands. You may be broken. We are broken. But we are blessed because we are in his hands. So cancer may be flowing in my body but I'm in his hands. There's coronavirus all around, but I'm in his hands. I may have all these problems at home, but I'm in his hands. I, 
I may feel all this depression, but I'm in his hands. I may be depressed, but I'm in his hands. I may be anxious, but I'm in his hands. I may have problems with my marriage, but I'm, I'm in his hands. I may have sickness or disease or, or, or I may be grieving because I've lost a loved one, but I'm in his hands. And that's what makes me blessed. And I may, I may be having to celebrate Mass by myself, but I'm blessed because I'm in His hands. All sorts of stuff are going around, but I'm blessed and you are blessed. You are blessed because you are loved by Jesus. God loves you so very much. And you know how I know that? Because I love you. And when I say that to you, a priest of Jesus Christ, it's Jesus himself through me letting you know that he loves you as I bless you today and always. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.